Uh, so few pieces of software, I think, have been announced as dead and come back as often as Selenium IDE. You are awesome, thank you. So uh, it gets the cartoonish World of Warcraft necromancer uh, for its picture. That's, thank you, Selenium IDE, everyone. Selenium IDE is dead. Long live Selenium IDE. Uh, in the Middle Ages, the, that's because the king would die, and then there was immediately a new king. So, uh, Brief history of it. Uh, there's, the, there's a link to the first lines of the code in GitHub. Uh, the repo I could find starts at like 1.9. I was asking Adam about it. He might be able to find me uh, the old pre-1.9 version on a hard drive somewhere or in a Bitbucket repo. Uh, so uh, we'll just go on to a quick summary of the versions. Um, V1 was the classic. I, I have no idea what the code looks like, but it was beautiful and I think perfect. I don't know anything about it, so it had to be. Uh, I don't know why it died, and I, it makes me sad. We'll go on to V2. Uh, this was Firefox only. Uh, it used a bunch of the internals of Firefox, and once they came up with the idea of web extensions having security limits, uh, this thing got murdered pretty quickly. So we, you will be missed, V2. It had all the plugins. Uh, V3 is the current one. Everybody loves it. It is Regina George from Mean Girls. Um, it's on Chrome, Firefox. I think it could very easily be on Edge. It, it is. Okay, it is on Edge. Thank you. Um, yeah, the documentation's great. Um, it uses an emulated web driver in JavaScript, which means whenever you do remote playback or anything non-local, you suddenly get all these differences. And so that's a constant source of GitHub issues, and that's why v4 was started, I think, in like 2019, and then uh, everyone st stopped for a little bit to get some mental health breaks, and then I'm here now. So you don't worry. We're fine. Uh, so V4 is the new guy, which is me. You can see that there's it, it looks beautiful, and it runs great. Um, no, it does not have documentation. No, it is not code signed. No, it is not available in stores. But it does use Electron WebDriver instead of JS. And it does share a runtime between the command line interface runner and IDE playback, which I will later explain as a mistake. Uh, why did we do this again? Um, because uh, pretty much web extensions, uh, you can't run a web driver from a web extension. I think that might be just a little too powerful for a thing in a browser. Um, so local playback never matched in v3. Like clicks being, if, if something blocked a click, you would it would be fine in the, the browser and then you'd get all these errors in your CI system and nobody had fun with that. So uh, we had to go, it had to go, so we did it. Um, and uh, shared runtimes really make it a lot better. Also, browser security changes, which makes it, you know, like every few years you kind of either have to make a lot of changes or get ready for your extension to die. I think one right now is about using eval from web extensions, which is really hard for a, a thing that has an execute script command to get around. So everyone says it's very easy, just use static strings, a little tricky there. Um, Oh, we're TypeScript now. So we have types, auto-completion, should make writing plugins a little more fun. Uh, yeah, let's see, what else do we got? Uh, we've moved code export into its own package because calling, like, downloading the side utils package and calling, like, some argument .code export was a pretty awkward flow. I'm planning to just have it work from the command line from here on. Um, everything's statically typed. You can see how many any's and unknowns are in the code there. It seems like a lot, I promise it's not. It could be more. It's it's kind of a lot. Um, the plugins have gotten simpler. Uh, now that you don't have to use the web extension API, you can do some really like cool things. Like one thing is um, when you have like client side plugin code, it can be in the exact same environment as the actual ex uh, like the recorder itself, which means you can operate directly on the event. So like traversals around the tree and that kind of stuff, you can now do from your plugins to like update your commands, which is really, really powerful and really, really nice. Um, and it's all typed and you don't have to like use an API and write your own web extension and you know, sideload it onto your browser and all that fun stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're no longer split between two runtimes that we've been trying to like, every real problem that comes in, we're like, we'll solve in V4. We're, we're not doing that anymore. We're, we're on to V4 and we're doing it. Uh, also, Electron's paired to a specific version of Chrome driver. So um, it's really hard to download this IDE and not get it to work, which is cool. Uh, though I have managed it many times, and so have the people who have beta tested it. Uh, thank you, guys. 
and gals. I'm out of time. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, well, uh, I'm Todd Tarsi. I maintain Sledding Mighty EV4, and I work for Voice Ops. I hope you had a good talk. I'm going to slash half the features in two years. Uh, mainly, code export should be the new thing. So, okay. Thank you.